हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज टाइम ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन दैट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म टाइम ऑफ कंसंट्रेशन इन हाइड्रोलॉजी एंड हाउ वी कैन डिटरमाइन इट फॉर एनी ऑफ द गिवन कैचमेंट और वॉटर शेड सो आई होप यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो सो लेट अस स्टार्ट ओवर डिस्कशन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम Time of concentration is a concept used in hydrology to measure the response of a watershed to a rain event. So, whenever a rain event occur in a catchment or watershed, then how the watershed or catchment is going to respond for that event? So, we will basically want to see the behavior of a catchment or watershed for the precipitation or rainfall event. it is defined as the time needed for water to flow from the most remote point in a watershed to the watershed outlet what is the physical meaning of time of concentration time of concentration is a time which time the time travel by the water from the farthest point of a catchment to the catchment outlet so we are we will use some figures to better understand it in the next slide it is a function of the topography geology and land use within the watershed so this time will be affected by the topography of the catchment what is the geology of the catchment and land use in the catchment or watershed so here in this figure you can see there is a catchment and this is the hydrograph hydrograph basically means it is developed for to know the response of a catchment on x axis we are having the time on y axis we are having the stream flow suppose this hydrograph is developed for the response of a catchment at this point where you can see my red color marker or this laser point so whenever a precipitation event occur in this catchment what will happen on this entire catchment precipitation will be happening but initially in the beginning only this part of why of water is going to contribute at the outlet means you can see here the dotted line and below this part all this area is going to contribute means whatever rainfall is occurring in this area is going to give the discharge at this point so you are getting this discharge here after some time this area this complete area which is covered by these two dotted lines is going to contribute at the outlet so discharge will be increased later on when these three dotted lines means this much area as i am covering with my red color laser so this much area is going to contribute at the outlet and the discharge will further increase and later on this much area is going to contribute and later on the discharge will increase and it will attain some peak and later on as the rainfall event stop it will going to decrease with respect to the time so here time of concentration is that time which is travel by the water from the remote point let's say this is the remote point or the farthest point of this catchment so whenever the water which is falling here is travel through this stream and reach here at the outlet whatever time is taken by this particle is time of concentration so i hope you will understand it now how to calculate the time of concentration for a given catchment or watershed we can use the kirpich method kirpich method is most popularly known method for the calculation of time of concentration the kirpich give a empirical equations where tch is the time of concentration in terms of minutes equals to k into l raised to the power 0.77 into s raised to the power minus 0.38 here k is the constant 0.01947 and l is the channel flow length means the length of the channel from the farthest point of the watershed to the outlet 
and here s is the slope of that main channel which is equal to the h2 minus h1 divided by l h2 minus h1 is the difference of elevations between two extreme point of the watershed divided by the length of the longest channel so suppose the elevation of this point farthest point is h2 and elevation at the outlet is h1 so h2 minus h1 divided by the length be between these two extreme point is l so by using this formula you can calculate the slope by putting all these values of k l and s you can find out the time of concentration by using kitpitch method so i hope you like this video and find it very informative if you like this video you can hit that like button subscribe our channel let's grow thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end okay take care bye bye